Hello from Beijing and welcome back to another Chinese food adventure. I am so excited for today's video. I think it's gonna be super, super cute. So you may remember a few weeks ago I posted a video where my friend Meng Zai and I, we went to Sha Xian, a place in Fujian province and we had a lot of Sha Xian snacks, one of which were the Shao Mai. Different to any other Shao Mai I've ever had before. The skin was kind of see-through, inside filled with vermicelli noodles. Anyway, to cut a long story short, Meng Zai actually showed this video to her mom and her mom actually reached out to me and asked if I would be willing to go on a food adventure with her. She wants to introduce to me today the Beijing version of a Shao Mai, which I could not be more excited for. The setting of today's food adventure is on the historic Tianmen Dajie. Originally, this street was the imperial road for the emperor to get out of the city to go to the Temple of Heaven. But after the outer city of Beijing was built in the Ming Dynasty around 1500 AD, Tianmen Street became the main north-south thoroughfare in Beijing, resulting in a lot of business and trade popping up all over the place. And eventually, it and the streets around it evolved into a famous commercial area, which is still the purpose it's used for today. Hello! Hello, Mayday! Hello! 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 Oh, oh. You're so beautiful! I'm so beautiful! Yes, I'm so beautiful! I didn't think that Beijing has a shop. Beijing's shop is more beautiful than the outside, because it's a Huangjia shop. It's been a long time ago, but Beijing has been since the Qianlong era. So here's the restaurant we're going to today. You can see all those people lining up there. It's called Du Yichu, and it was founded in 1738. I just can't wrap my head around that number. Qianlong Huangdi. 他晚上没事出去就出来溜达，所有这条街都关门了，只有这家店没有名字啊，当时是没有名字的。他来到这家店，就是有看着亮灯啊，然后有人在忙活着做这些茶点呐、啊，然后他就觉得，哎，你看所有的都关了，就这家来，咱们就上这家来尝尝来吧。And how's this for history? It was actually the Emperor Qianlong himself that gave this restaurant its name. I can't even conceptualize how old this restaurant actually is. To put it in context, this restaurant existed 50 years before the first fleet discovered Australia. 你来过吗，这里？我没来过，我第一次来。你你吃过北京的烧麦吗？也没怎么吃过。你怎么会没吃过呀？我前门都第一次。那哎呦，因为这是这是你第一次来前门大街吗？对，就是真真正正第一次来前门，真给北京人丢脸。<laughs> and here are the Shao Mai in question. How beautiful do they look? They also come in a huge variety of fillings, everything from beef and celery, pork and bamboo shoot, to vegetarian. We ended up going for these pretty multicolored seafood ones. This is how it's done. It's so beautiful. 你看他这做的，他这个是是不是跟那个沙县不一样？沙县那个是皮比较厚，对吧？对，这是薄皮，对，上面还有一层薄薄的面。然后那个你你还没吃过什么？爆肚儿啊，爆爆肚吃过，炒肝儿炒肝儿吃过。So basically, we just went through the menu and ordered whatever Beijing foods I've never tried before. The first thing to arrive on our table were these jiao wanzi, deep fried pork balls. It's served with a little bowl of dipping options. The left is spiced salt, and the right is tianmian jiang, the same sauce they use for peking duck. Oh, deep fried. Goodness, smells so good, and it's going to be so crispy. I mean, I'm sure it will be if I ever manage to pick one of these balls up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, here we go. Yeah. Mm. So moist on the inside and crispy on the outside, and the sauce. What was you want to get down? You want you want to Now let's try it with some of that spice salt. Mm. Reminds me of popcorn chicken at a KFC. It's very good. The next Beijing specialty to arrive on our table is this platter, comprised of jian mo dun, a horseradish and cabbage tower, candied hawthorns and zhou pi dong, a kind of jelly made from pig skin. The meat is cleaned and cleaned after it. Then we use the water to clean it. After it is cleaned, we put it together. This is called the ba. This is the dough. We also call it the ba bao. 
texture is very nice， 有馒头感。对对对对对，这个吃的挺有意思。你小心点啊，小心点儿是吗？还有点呛鼻子。芥吗？知道吗？我知道。日本的青芥吗？知道吗？但是这个是熟熟芥，有点窜鼻子。OK， let's try。啊，你觉得我应该吃这么？这么多吗？还是多吃一点？你你先吃尝尝，先吃怕你受不了。我呀，你试试看。Scaring me. Oh, it smells like wasabi, just like full on wasabi. Oh, 是不是还有点有点？ Definitely has a good kick to it. <laughs> the last item on the platter are the candied hawthorns, and I was told to wait until my mouth needs some refreshment to pop one in. We also ordered some traditional Beijing veggie dishes. This one is jiao zhi pan si qie, basically cold garlicky eggplant, and this one is qian long bai cai, cabbage covered in a heavenly mix of sesame sauce and vinegar. So months ago, when I went back to Australia, Shu Shu recommended that I try this dish with my family when I take, took them to the Beijing restaurant, and we absolutely loved it. Nice little one. Oh wow, that is a delicious yeah. vegetable dish. That is absolutely Whoa. delicious. To be honest, that's, that's delicious. Really good. Wow. Yeah. It's almost like it's got peanut butter. It is. It's sesame. I'm a fan of. Yeah. The taste is so good. It's just that cabbage is like the best vehicle for that sesame vinegary sauce. It's honestly so good. I could just sit down and eat a plate of this. I'm very happy. Okay, let's try our garlicky eggplant. Look how yummy and fresh it looks with all that coriander and chili on top. I love tian zi. I love tian zi. Mm. Very garlicky, just really easy to eat. And what I mean by that is, I'd say 99 out of 100 people who try this dish will like it because it's just classically yum flavors that I feel are easy to understand and appreciate. Then da 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 da, our shawmai arrived. Because they're so massive, we just ordered one basket. And didn't we choose a stunner? Have you ever seen such a beautiful shawmai? I know I haven't. I have to say, I haven't encountered such beautiful Beijing food before. Beijing food is usually quite. Brown, <laughs> like chowgara, lujua, dojira. Sometimes not the most beautiful food, but this food, like you can't look at this and not say it's beautiful. Beijing, many old shops, especially in the traditional shops, their food is very beautiful. Yes, and not only the taste is beautiful, the color is beautiful. It's because it's in the Tang Dynasty, in the Tang Dynasty. 鼻子底下，他要想让更多的达官显贵、有地位的人来他的这个地方来就餐，所以他的就一定要做的这三道色香味都要俱全，真的很好看，好看吧？这是海鲜的那一个？这是海鲜的，海鲜的啊。嗯 Oh, it smells so good. Oh, yeah, I'm so excited. Can I eat it? 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 Look how big this shawl mai is. It's massive. It's like nose sized. It's very, very pretty. Look at the top there. Mmm. Oh. So juicy. Like, look inside. This is a period. It's good because it gives more room. The it reminds me of the um, like the hagao in um, Guangdong, the prawn dumplings. It's like that, but like bigger. You need at least three or four big mouthfuls to finish one shawmai. You can just eat it and just eat it. Yes, yes, yes. You can see so many, so many. That. 小和丰富。And if you're like me, wondering how did Shao Mai come to become a Beijing specialty, well, that's an interesting story too. Because ah, Beijing, ah, it's a royal city, so it's the royal family that resides there. So all all the royal officials, 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 all the 然后就演变成一个自己独特的。真正开这个烧麦最早的原始的老板是山西人，那他开的这个烧麦馆，那最后延传到也是成北京的一个一个特色的。就不要说很多各个地方的菜就变成了北京菜。对对对,对。Anyway, after eating lots and lots of shao mai, my palate is ready for a refresher. 酸酸甜甜 ，It is the perfect thing after you've had five or six or maybe seven shao mai. Because I'm such a greedy little goblin, we ordered another basket of shao mai. These are called san xian. Shaomai, filled with I think pork, sea cucumber, and prawns. It was good too, but my heart is with the multicolored ones. I have to say. Today we are literally eating like an emperor. 过去皇帝吃饭，他一个星期就说这几天都不见得重样。他一顿饭会有
一百多种菜主食。皇家还有一个规矩，就是说皇帝再喜欢吃，再喜欢吃都是第三筷子夹起来就撤掉了。他不允许说我再夹第四次，这不可以。为什么？你猜猜。因为菜太多。啊，不知道，他是怕有一些官员或者他们宦官，宦官就是太监了，就是掌握皇帝的口味以后，好溜须拍马，哦、啊，好就着这个皇帝的什么将来以后，就是控制皇帝。所以说，皇家的规矩就是说，你再好吃的东西不能吃第三口。That would take some serious self control. I don't think I could do this. 我控制不了。我如果看到好吃的东西，我不能只吃三口。所以你不能当皇帝。对，我不能，我不吃。Last dish to arrive at our table is called Jia San Jiao, literally deep fried triangle, and doesn't it look cute as a button? It reminds me of like a empanada or like a samosa. It looks so beautiful, like blistered on the outside, that pastry is golden and crispy. Oh my god, it smells good too. Oh my god, it's filled with chives. Amazing, super fragrant on the inside, crispy on the outside. Oh my god. That meat is just so rich. But turns out I wouldn't be a very good emperor. Less than 30 seconds later, I went back and polished it off. And there won't be any waste on this table. Anything we couldn't finish, we got takeaway. So that brings us to the end of our food adventure today. Don't forget to, of course, eat and sunly and subscribe, like and comment. And we will see you next time. Bye from Beijing. Bye bye. Bye bye.